I transcript <laughs> back what the fuck is armor piercing English. Let me start by thinking of world of Jack here with another video. I just got done playing a game called Bright Memory that is absolutely broken of uh, FPS that somewhat mixes. I don't even know how to explain that game, it's so weird. Like, there's a point where you run around with a meat cleaver and you travel through time, and there's a black hole out of nowhere. Hideo Kojima wants his ideas back, and the main character to play have like some old man walking. It's weird, but it got me thinking about Battlefield 2042 and occasionally, fun enough, Russian Badger got a new video on that and I'm uh, definitely looking forward to this because he explained that in his last video he would have clarified why his PC burst into flames. That's... that's terrible. <laughs> but before I start that, what has been your thoughts on Battlefield 2042? Leave them in the comment section below because I hear so many people clown on that game and I know that it has flaws. I played the beta as well. I'll say that the positive overrules all the glitches. I kind of feel as, I don't know, now Cyberpunk 2077 is not a good comparison. But like, I still played through that game and I enjoyed it. The same way with this one, I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at. Because every single Battlefield game in test or after release were well, kind of bad, except for Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3? A bit. Uh, but those were good. I mean, I've heard the same narrative with people also playing the uh, test version or the multiplayer of Halo Infinite. This one is also kind of broken, but everybody enjoys it. So people need to calm down. I mean, if you're a fan, you know that these things happen. Hopefully, uh, of course, the association with E E E E E E E E is not good, but they can fix it. I trust that is in that. The portal mode, though, if you complain about that, you have no right whatsoever. But without further ado, stop the banter. For my part, at least, let's jump into the video. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Oh, his favorite sponsor. I will allow. <laughs> I he has a lot of videos of those. Minutes. Somebody in your chat just said this game has no bang to it. How does it feel to be wrong? <laughs> I have so much fun playing video games with you guys. You do not understand. Badger just pulled a Drake, bro. <laughs> 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 no, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> serious. After like, buddy's in his house right now with a your computer cow. can't drink the kind of whippersnapper in the horror movie to say, hey guys, you want to take a look at this instead of just saying what the problem is. You did not just say Drake the type of whippersnapper. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. He could have done it anywhere else. Chick fil A is sacred. <laughs> wow, this video on the beta took me so long that the full game is already out. Yep. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> 2042 is finally here, and I can just feel the positivity flowing through my yeah. game. Yeah, this thing sucks. I keep having to fucking move my mouse. Fucking game, just all What the fuck? And there's got to be something wrong with my brain. Maybe I've just heard too many fart sound effects with bass boosted reverb that it's finally giving me brain damage. I'm whipping a four and I can't whip no beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually use that as a punchline? Is that a punchline? That was on purpose. I just put it on the soundboard at the exact moment. <laughs> Grouse has that the um, the best soundboard of all time. The last sound that dude heard was that fart. <laughs> because everything I've heard about 2042 is unpolished. This broken. That canceling my pre-order. Blah blah blah. And I'm just out here like, are you guys smoking crack? This game is amazing. You can keep all that negativity to yourself. I'm gonna be whipping drive-bys with half the retirement home. All these old yeah. ass ladies trying to get in my damn car. What year <laughs> is it? That's what it's like to be in a retirement home in Florida. Heavenly, your character is so old. Backshots probably sound like the skeletons from Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was Battlefield 2042. Oh, I beat the shit out of an old woman that was trying to hit me with a Carl Gustav. <laughs> ah, but it's so damn buggy, Badger. Oh, so like 
every Battlefield beta since 2011? Mm. Do you remember the worm guy? I'm old enough to remember the worm guy. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is not a meme. I loved every bit of the beta, and to give you context, my computer literally burst into flames while playing the beta. And we're not talking, oh man, my graphics card's getting a little hot, or ooh-wee, you could fry an egg on my CPU. <laughs> we're talking an explosion on my motherboard with flames coming out of the back of my case like it's a Whoa. Honda Civic in a Fast and Furious movie. <clears throat> My computer transformed from a gaming PC into a gaming oven while playing this beta, and I just still have a blast, and I can't wait to tell you why in this video. <laughs> just got my transcript back. What the fuck is armor-piercing English? Let me start by thanking World of... <laughs> what? What? Armor-piercing English. That sounds like a... I, I don't know. A spell from... Some... I don't know, Magic Gathering. Thanks for sponsoring and making this whole thing possible, because when my PC click-clacked itself, I not only had to replace my motherboard, power supply, case, and cooler, but I also had to scramble to buy a temporary PC so I could keep recording the limited time beta. Shout out to Seattle Built PCs for delivering in less than 24 hours, by the way. And I was able to get all that shit done and still make this video a reality thanks to World of Tanks. I am just blown away by their support. I've got a full video planned for next month where I'll be whipping just one of their 550 plus tanks, just like this one, which Whoa. I may not know the name of, but I definitely know it's never getting a parking Benny. ticket. It's free to play, free to win, and I've already got 11 videos of me slapping the opposition into oblivion if you want to see what I'm talking about. Oh, bullseye! Get in on all this armor piercing, metal busting, tank on tank action via the link below with code Badger, and you'll get yourself a huge bonus that they let me choose, by the way, which is why I'll hook you up with a Dicker Max. Yeah, that tier six Dicker Max. 250,000 credits, seven days premium access, along with a Tiger 131, Cromwell B, and T3485M as hey. rental tanks for 10 battles each. Do me a solid and check it out below. It's always a great time, and round of applause for the world of tanks people for just being kick-ass your support is insane and next month is gonna be a blast thank you so much for sponsoring this video with that and fire now, extinguished, explain yourself tell me why you think 2042 is good tell me if it really makes you feel like Sp spider-man <laughs> in defense of the negative nancy's it was a buggy mess there's no arguing against that from tiny bugs that were so harmless it was just another thing to laugh at he's coming back oh what did that jet just do Hmm. What is this? What is that? What was that guy doing? To Every quad. A little more egregious. Every quad within the game when I played were flying everywhere. I. Well, okay, it depends on the servers. But actually, you know what? There's 122 people within a server that is buggy made it kind of funny. It's more in the what the fuck am I looking at category. Yo, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here. I don't think this is supposed to happen. Where am I going? I don't think this is supposed to be happening. I wrote a feature. <laughs> oh, on my screen, you're just sitting there. I think we can have a little bit of a difference in opinion. I <laughs> it's a feature. I feel like I am standing to bugs that straight up just need to be features. I mean, if I busted moves this fresh every time I got shot in the face, I would be begging for the sweet release of death. <laughs> Along with netcode and l lagginess that was almost always awful. There were a couple times where I queued into servers that weren't fully populated yet where it was smooth. This server feels great. Like this server, like the hit reg and everything else, the netcode feels fantastic. Like every other server just sucks. I'm, this game lives and dies by what server you queue into. But when yeah. 128 players fill a server, it is rough. Nearly every time you kill somebody, it feels... Delay. And half the rounds you fire, no matter if it's bullets, tank shells, or rockets, seem to zip. Yeah. Ghosts. I can already feel this netcode fucking sucks. Gotta show this guy what's good. How? I felt like that phased right through her. Yeah. Why have are a you still here? Just to suffer. suffer. <laughs> what the bugs, the netcode, and virtually all other criticism of 2042 makes me think one thought. I don't care. 
I don't care. I've been playing Battlefield since 2008, and EA hasn't delivered a polished launch product since early 2010 with Bad Company 2, which has very yep. little relation to modern Battlefields that are so radically different. Maybe I'm just a jaded piece of shit, but after thousands of hours across seven Battlefield games, bugs, shitty netcode, and a general feeling of being unfinished is just Battlefield to me. That's just what Battlefield is now, especially on launch. No matter the cause, whether it be the limitations of the Frostbite game, engine, the development decisions by DICE, Did or the keep tyrannical demands to change. of the publisher EA, I don't give a, a fuck. Damn. If it's fun, I'll play. Oh, you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna play. If it's not, I'll uninstall that shit and go play something else, because there is no shortage of incredible games nowadays, and whining to a $40 billion corporation is a waste of my fucking time. And you know what? 2042 is a fucking blast, because no matter how shitty the negatives are, they are dwarfed by the positives. The remainder of this video is basically a journal of how much I was pissing myself <laughs> during the whole experience with enough fun-filled maniacal laughter to make my job so you can just find no fantasy laugh. <laughs> Wait, while well, driving. Hey, bro, we going off the edge. Oh, <laughs> no! Wait, 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 wait. I did not sign up for this. <laughs> I, did. I really thought we landed there, bro. The wheels hit the ground. We don't need these anymore, so I'ma just, I'ma just get these out of the way. First of all, the future is wild. Like diesel trucks, we got electric trucks now. M4s, we got M5s now. Trijicon red dots, nah. We got Wi-Fi connected Bluetooth yeah. and red dots with 8 trillion megapixel cameras that I'm pretty sure auto post to TikTok. I'm not saying they turned your boomer ass 45 into a 46, but in the year 2042, anything is possible. I'm whipping a foreign. I Suppressed can't wait with no monster power. The far sound effect as I take a man's life. Badger, <laughs> <laughs> someone. The sites have a fucking Wi-Fi connection, all right? <laughs> you know, instead of M4s, there's M5s. That's hysterical. Finally, Nakaka. Why do you carry a 45? Because they don't make a 46. Guess again, mother. Oh, oh. Well, your megapixels could help I you know, buddy. <laughs> the sheer chaotic scale of 2042 is something I've never seen in Battlefield before. You don't really get how gigantic. Chill, bro. Come on. You've been tossed around by that raging tornado. I am so oh. high. You do not understand how high I am. That's right. Anything. You have no fucking clue. All right, here we go, fellas. Here comes the tornado. We're gonna ramp it. It's some sick two. air. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. All right, baby. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, oh shit. That rocket just exploded. Oh, we're going, Heavenly. Ah. We're going. <laughs> we're going. Oh, 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 the physics of this thing is just slightly better than uh, that. That was a fucking tray flip. Just goes full. It's not just the map either, because it's 128 players per server now with crossplay enabled. I know a bunch of you are about to scream AI bots, AI bots, AI bots. And that's true. There are sometimes AI bots to fill out the 128 slots, and the servers definitely take a performance yeah. hit when there are 128 human players, but I'ma keep it a buck yet again. I don't give a fuck. With the combination of the server lag, console players connected with PC players, and the strange phenomenon on, of bots playing like humans and humans playing like bots, the AI didn't sour my experience at all, and I couldn't tell which was which most of the time until I saw the kill feed. I don't care. I'm running these fuckers over. I do not I'm care. running them over. Yeah, baby. Oh. Uh, to AI. Those are AI. It says AI in That's the AI. game. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here I go killing artificial intelligence. Oh, that guy oh, was a real. That was a real person. person. <laughs> that was a real dude. Captain that Amazing. Was definitely granddad on the Xbox, bro. <laughs> Even if you're unimpressed by the massive scale of 2042 on a technical level, I was most impressed by the feeling of never having a dull moment. Just when I started talking shit about a lull in my excitement, the game would immediately smack me in the lips with more action. I'm backing up out of here. This doesn't seem cinematic enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> grenade from the from roof the the and the moon walk back <laughs> <laughs> the size of shit isn't the only big change either, because specialists are a thing now. Oh man, I said the specialists were call call the fucking cops. Don't move a muscle. All right, drop down. Oh, the 
conflict between people that no no we're not doing that links thing again no it's so 2020 stop people that hate specialists is more heated than bingus household versus <laughs> floppa households there's no middle ground and there is no compromise nobody wants a hairless links people will be at each other's throats over who's better what is it floppa or bingus right i'm gonna be honest you know, i like jello he's an all right guy but this is so fucking stupid i would <laughs> what happened to oh. Oh, no, oh, Scar 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 good too. bingus <laughs> You get caught inside of a live telephone wire. I don't know. There's something about it. Like, Bingus, you should be destroyed. Take it off the face of the earth. Reduced to Adam. Specialists are the replacement of the class system in previous games, and the easiest way to think about it, more freedom, less identity. In previous games, if you saw an engineer, you knew he was blowing bad shit up and making sure the good shit kept running with his rocket launcher and repair tool. Great monkey. This thing's falling apart. If you saw a recon, he probably had a sniper rifle and was spotting you and your squad with all of his motion mines and recon equipment. Signal transmitting 5x5. Five five. 2042 does not have each player siloed in that way because each specialist does have a unique active and passive ability like the Spider-Man grappling hook and increased movement speed while aiming on this dude named McKay. Keep going. Almost got me. Get up here. Get yeah. up here. <laughs> but that's it. That's where his specialty ends. Everything else in his loadout is open season. He could be running any gun under the sun, whether it's a sniper <laughs> rifle, an assault rifle, an SMG, a shotgun or even a big ass LMG. Usually that's just a support class thing, but not anymore. God damn it. Just God die God. already. These are armor piercing. Why can't they pierce you? Same goes for gadgets. The rocket launcher is not just an engineer thing, it's now an anybody thing. Seeing a recon bush monster running around with a Carl Gustav may be a cursed image to veteran <laughs> battlefield players, but that's just 2042. Oh! Oh, I hit his ass! Oh, man! That is cash money. Anybody can run a rocket launcher. Anybody can run C4. Anybody Yay. can run health kits, ammo boxes, repair tools. You get what I'm saying now. More freedom, less identity. Personally, Equality. I it, but it feels much less like Battlefield because the clear division between classes, how siloed they used to be, made teamwork a huge priority. Every class yeah. had specific strengths that were multiplied when now you combined them in the chaos. right way. This guy's blowing up vehicles, this guy's giving out ammo, this guy's keeping people alive, and this guy's letting you know where the bad guys are. Enemy on your ass! 2042 still has some of this, like Bush Monster Recon headass over here still has a drone for spotting bad guys, and his chest lights up red when bad guys get close, but he could be blowing up vehicles, he could be giving out ammo, he could be reviving somebody, and you get it now. More freedom, less identity. It is a seriously hot topic, but all things considered, I still had a ton of fun with it, and I'm not gonna go crazy and have an aneurysm over guns and gadgets. We're still here. We should just spit crazy yeah, motherfuckers in this PC. That'll straighten them out real quick. I'm Jeez. Not <laughs> I hope you guys watching the stream and weren't expecting anything different. <laughs> And this freedom I keep talking about even extends to your weapon attachments because picking all of the tactical shit you want to throw in your guns uh. at the spawn menu is a thing of the past. In 2042, you simply hit the T button while in game and boom, swap any of your attachments on the fly. We're talking scopes, we're talking ammo types, we're talking barrel attachments. You can even swap your grip out for an underbarrel grenade launcher in the middle of a game. Mm -hmm. This is cursed, but this is awesome. Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me, uh... Oh, fragmentation <laughs> launcher, count me in. Let me hit I you with a grenade launcher. Oh, Hell yes, brother, that's what I was looking for. Okay, watch me drop down and get his ass. <laughs> but I'll be honest, I didn't use it that much because I got so attached to the satisfaction of blowing someone's head off with the iron sights on a 44 Magnum that I didn't really need that dumbass T button. Good. That's one less loose end. 44 Magnum, just wait, just wait. I'm gonna execute Squirrel Magnum. Damn it, Shepard. Nugget he is. With a 44 Magnum sending you straight to hell. Oh my god. Oh, double kill. Wow. Yes, I got These it. things the fuck. Cracked. Oh, I am cracked. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, I, I hit that guy. I just killed. No that. way. Yeah, fuck oh, you, buddy. German? You're out of 
out of here. One's on the roof. He jumped out. Oh, I'm following oh, him. I'm not yeah, letting you get jumping. away. I'm going to execute you with a 44 Magnum, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah! Got his ass! Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's got a buddy. Watch me one tap this asshole. Oh, there's just a ton of enemies on the roof oh, now. I'm you going to wall oh! Cameraman. No! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is crazy. Hey. And scary. Sucker for one hit kills, and 2042 has all kinds of satisfying options. The only one better than the 44 Magnum has to be the Goose Dog. Here, let me, let me go. Badger, that was literally Three. fucking Three. illegal what you did. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, was man. I was you know where like you quick aim? I just hip fired it and he was still pulling that bitch out. And I, what the fuck type of is Jason Bourne moment is that? <laughs> that was disgusting. Heavenly kept telling me not to use the Gustav on infantry because the splash damage sucks, but what do I care about splash damage? This is an anti tank weapon. If an enemy's in range, I'm gonna hit that motherfucker directly. I think the best part is crossbow. Are you kidding me, Heavenly? I just nailed that dude. What are you talking about? The recoilless rifle is bad. Can I please just call it a Gustav tube? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> See, this is just fine against infantry. You just gotta hit him right well, in the chest plate. And he'll as long as he doesn't say it's true. Sir, sir. <laughs> again. Got his ass no, again. No. Oh my no, no, no. word. That guy got it in the kneecaps. Ouch. I was, uh, I was sir. Oh, that's a double kill. Taking a ghost stop to the knee. Right. I'm gonna open this up and blast it. Anyway. Oh my. It didn't even explode. I just killed a senior citizen with a direct impact. <laughs> Tack on the ability to kill people people with back blast and this is a dream come true don't even get me started about the bug that lets you fire two rockets at once all right let's do what let's run up to somebody uh... turn around <laughs> got him i got him it works it 100 oh. works nice. okay yes it worked that was perfect <laughs> got a hit yes. marker on that guy <laughs> yes i forgot you can shoot two rockets if you do it fast enough wait wait wait, wait back no blast <laughs> oh i shot two rockets i shot two rockets and didn't kill anybody with a double back blast what the fuck for a different flavor of explosives c4 is yet another satisfying insta kill oh. no 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 dude they got c5 in the game now C5, that one kills the soul. It's C5 now. Remember that whole plus one thing from the start of the video, which apparently gives it 25% more bang per boom or something? I don't fucking know. I'm not a scientist. I just hit the chart. Yo, we on C5 now? We, we got are on yep. C5 explosives? We've upgraded. I'll throw it on you. Drive into somebody. Hit the switch! Dang, Tell me. Oh, it worked! Oh my god! <laughs> I just got a triple. C5 time, big boy. All right! <laughs> Let's see if this can get me any kills. Run towards the C4. Run towards it. Run. I think it hit Grouse's. All the yes! I blew him up! Get in that. I dare you. I dare you. I double dog. Oh, dare you. Watch this happen. I'm a god. Okay, go. Anyone, anyone. I'll, I'll let you go. 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 Go, 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 go. Yeah, we got it. Wow. Went down. Oh, it. hell yeah. Watch this blind C5. Charge is ready. Yeah, buddy. Double kill. Oh. Is going to work? But what was my favorite weapon in this modern age of cutting edge futuristic technology where even the dogs are firing machine guns? What is the dog doing? What the dog doing? Defending its country. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo uh, what the dog doing? He's floating in the <laughs> air. He's still, uh, l what is, <laughs> what the dog doing? Truck. It's all about the truck. Because initially I was whipping the Lat V just to explore the entirety of the map and soak in the scale, but turning the whole game into Twisted Metal 3 was a killer strategy. Yo, we're tanking this dude. We're not. <laughs> Holy shit! I got a double kill. I got everybody in the other. Video. I was approaching him and I just thought, there's no way this guy's just as dumb as I am. No, don't All steal right. it from me, you ass. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. What did I just see? <laughs> oh, my oh God. luckily he entered just in time. Furious movie. Oh my, what is happening? Oh. You just fucking just sandwiched <laughs> that guy <laughs> between two cars. I want to know what happened before oh, that, though, Bob. The fucking cyber truck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened before that? I, I want to know my... what demonic possessed <laughs> sorcery. <laughs> Was coming at me with that. The guy's jumping out of the car just in time. Oh, whoa! 
Whoa! Whoa! Flip it! There's an enemy vehicle behind you, Badger. I'm gonna flip his ass. She don't oh, wanna be safe. I, I, I got C5. Oh, C5. I got C5. 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 I'm in it! Yeah! Got his ass! The combination of its zippy acceleration and bottom heavy center of gravity means it's got incredible handling and automatically lands the sickest stunts. It's like Battlefield's answer to the Warthog. He's found it <laughs> We're gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go. And a short and a, time to get time there. To get there. <laughs> I'm East Bell. Watch it. <laughs> Why do you get so aggressive? Why did you just do that? <laughs> Wee! So sick 360. Smooth. Flawless. Barrel. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god! That man is so gone. <laughs> the Demolition Derby isn't limited to the lap V either, because you can drop the L and whip something a little smaller and cheaper with the ATV. Oh, hey this dude's getting oh. it. Oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> I hit him. Come In on, the on. kill feed, it says the Polaris Sportsman, bro. Like, it's branded. <laughs> they have a marketing deal with oh Polaris. Oh my god, they paid for the licenses just so I could break that guy's jaw with an ATV straight out of your back. You... <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. That death sound was just too good. I think I got one tapped by a DMR, and he just went. <laughs> or you could go a little bigger and a little more expensive, whipping an F-35 that costs eighty million dollars and smash it into anything you want. You can call it the world's most advanced fighter jet that barely works, by the way. You can say I'm wasting taxpayer dollars all you want, but it's entirely made from materials that came from the Earth, which basically makes it a technologically advanced rock, <laughs> and rocks are meant to be thrown. So shut oh, up, shut up. Oh, Badger. Go out of research and development. What about R&D? Uh, well, it's about to hit the final testing stage. Yo. Slightly frustrated for I the lack of trial of Van de Zouk here. System. Imagine trying to explain to the Pentagon that you bailed out of an $80 million aircraft just so you could knock some shitter into a ventilation shaft. It'd be like trying to explain SoundCloud rappers to your grandmother. It's like how if you were to show 100 Gex to like an 1100 AD peasant, they would just die. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're finally getting how brain dead I am and how little it takes for me to adore a game. Give me basically anything that I can smash into someone and I'll fall in love. No matter yeah. if it's a fighter jet or that TV from third period English with the big ass straps. The TV with the, <laughs> the straps CRT. on the side. Oh! Off the, yes. off the cart. That was in fifth grade and like, they rolled a TV. We used to ride on those. those. Straps and that bitch fell on a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he died. He literally died. TV tip forward off of the fucking car and landed on this kid. How do you That's what you had time of at an elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> your reflexes are never better in your entire life. And if you'll allow me an honorable mention, the Glock is cash money. The amount of bullets you can spam out of this thing this was in a the, tight group those with are supposed to have straps. is insane. Q2's weapon names are never yeah. Yo, the Glock is nutty. You can just yeah, fire yeah, out yeah, so yeah, many yeah. bullets Dumb so quickly. I'm telling you. Fast as you can click. What, use your burst fire? Use your burst fire. I will not yeah. do that. I will not do that, Challenger. I refuse. I know 9mm is sacrilegious in some of your households. I know shooting anything less than God's caliber of 45 ACP mm -hmm. is a fate worse than death. It'll turn you into a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Glock usually springs up in the news as the weapon of choice for every rapper turned murderer. Do not free take it. Take and killed people. someone in a Chick fil A parking lot. Shut the fuck up. Do hey, not free my man, man, bro. <laughs> he could have done it anywhere else. Chick fil A is sacred. <laughs> but as a law abiding Glock owner myself that will use any dipshit excuse to weave it into a video so I can expense the ammo and get a huge tax savings, there's nothing more reliable at teleporting a shit ton of bullets from here to there. No matter if you're shooting at the world's deadliest operators or some old grandma that has no place on the battlefield. Come at me, I got my Glock. Come at me. I got my Glock. Come at me. 
Yeah, how does that Glock feel, Grandma? And I would be remiss if I didn't mention the parachutes, because the downside is they're glitchy as shit and oftentimes don't retract correctly. I know there's a bad guy below here because I can see his parachute through the floor. I'm going to get that asshole. Is he down there? He's he running is. from me. Oh, I got no, him. No, you bitch. I had to steal it. But the upside is that you have an unlimited number, so you can repeatedly cut your uh, shoot. Ah, you can do the superhero landing. If you time it right, you can basically skip the animation altogether and land yeah. like a fucking superhero. I, fi Even I figured it out pretty quickly. I don't like playing in this fly, jet. Fly, uh, I don't want to play with you anymore. Yeah. Jets are actually <laughs> awful because one of their equipment is fucking... Uh, Look at him. Oh, I landed oh. that. I stuck the landing. Did you see that? See how high the skybox goes. <laughs>
those glitches of course get in the way but I mean yeah it's just fun just chill out but yeah that's been it for today's video thank you so much for checking it out of course as always if you're not yet subscribed to Badger please go and do that on his channel and watch some of his videos he's freaking hilarious and thank you once again for checking this out I wish you all a wonderful evening if you like the video subscribe like and yeah see you guys next time Bye.